It's a huge mistake that we make starting out. And sadly, we see this, you know, 95% of all plumbing businesses fail within the first three years, okay, because of this issue. But of the 5% that supposedly, you know, are making it, they're just struggling to get by. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 394th episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, in case you've forgotten. <laughs> and hey, does it ever feel like it's one step up, maybe two steps down in your plumbing business? Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, you're maybe stuck in quicksand or, you know, it feels like you're robbing Paul to pay Peter, you know, all those kinds of things. And Paul don't got no money. And Paul don't got no <laughs> money either. All right. There's more uh, month at the end of the money, mm -hmm. you know, all, all those kinds <laughs> of things. All right. Mm. Does it ever feel like that? Hey, well, you may, may be making, you know, one of three or maybe all three mm. of these, these common mistakes. Yikes. And we're so, going to talk about the three common mistakes? I think that would be a good idea okay. in this episode. All right. All right to cover mm -hmm. these three, <laughs> three common mistakes. These don't right. do. Don't do these things. So by the time we finish this episode, yes. you should be aware of whether or not you're making one or all of these mistakes okay and what to do and what not to do perfect okay and how to fix it and how to fix it got Importantly, it. how to fix it okay all right mm -hmm. what all you right got? so what do we have here yes i don't know what the do three you mistakes <laughs> <laughs> three mistakes so what's mistake number one mistake number one is serving the wrong customer mm. serving the wrong customer i already know the answer the right customer is someone uh, like general contractor or all new construction have your entire business built on new construction and always be promised all their houses. Well, maybe not necessarily. I know <laughs> we can feel like that. That's how, how we start out. That's how we started uh, out. How, that's how we start out. Remember that we, we get the and we, we were we almost the, broke within <laughs> six months. Right, we did. So. We got the contractor. You know, the, you know, gave us the shot or whatever, and mm -hmm. so we got a couple houses. Right, and then and then you know, right. Write down in the comments or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, if this, if this is sounds Has that ever happened to you? Right. right. So we get the contractor, we got a couple of houses, mm -hmm. and then we're doing so good mm -hmm. that oh, I'm going to give you all our houses. <gasps> of course, we're, he hasn't paid for house one yet. Or, yeah, not even close. <laughs> right. and, and there's constant change orders. <laughs> exactly. We need you to come back. The, ha the homeowners live there now for three months. We need you to come <laughs> back out. and yeah. <laughs> Exactly. You know, so what? what is the right customer? It's, right. it's very important to work for the right customer. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the, the right customer is mm -hmm. is someone who values their their time mm -hmm. over economy right meaning okay. yeah they they have more time they no no they have more money than time right, right? more money than time and they right. they want to just yeah more money than time so mm -hmm. that that's one of the issues there mm -hmm. um they also directly benefit from your service mm -hmm. meaning it's it's their house right Okay, so now you, you brought up the, the contractor thing, right. you know, contractor, mm -hmm. you know, commercial work, you know, is it their, you know, it's, it's not their stuff. No, it is not. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, the, with a GC, the contractor, you know, they're just, it's, it's not, it's not their house. They're just responsible for getting things done. Right. And it's their yeah. bottom, bottom dollar. Right. All the way. Bottom dollar. 100%. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And ultimately mm -hmm. they pay today. That's the right customer. Someone that pays today. Right. Yes. Pays today. Pays today. <laughs> or pays, actually. First, well, for one, pays. Well, and pays. Then for two, but pays, importantly, pays today. today. Okay. <laughs> we can get the money in the bank mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. So as we're looking at that, we're talking about, you know, one of the, the mistakes that we make is is serving or working for the wrong customer. And mm -hmm. I get it. You know, we think, you know, just because, you know, they got a plumbing problem, well, oh, I can solve I can do all the plumbing stuff and right. it's all plumbing and all mm -hmm. that. But that doesn't mean it's the right customer for you. And it's a huge mistake that we make starting out. And sadly, we see this, you know, 95% of all plumbing businesses fail mm -hmm. within the first three years, mm -hmm. okay, because of this issue. But of the 5% that supposedly, you know, are making it, mm -hmm. they're just struggling to get by. We're back to that, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, mm -hmm. you know, arriving from Paul to pay Peter, all those kinds of things, mm -hmm. okay. Um, 3%. Are only three percent of those are are thriving. That means that less than one percent of all plumbing businesses are thriving. Right. That means the majority mm -hmm. are basically living paycheck to paycheck. Right. And the reason they're doing that is because they're working for the wrong customer. Wrong customer. Okay. Working, yeah, and even um, I know we talk GCs, but also um, commercial accounts. Right? right. Again, that's not the right customer because it's not their property. So if it's you know a facilities manager at, at someplace or something, right? His job is to get the plumbing fixed, but does he really care for one? He's going to make sure it's bottom dollar for two. It's not, it's not his building, just like, you know, it's, it's not his house. So they don't care. So he doesn't they're care. Just, they're just doing right. their job. Just, just get the job done. done. And you're not getting paid today. 
Oh, okay, yeah. you're normally waiting mm-hmm. 30, 45 days for your money. Right. Um, if, if it gets sent to you, I mean, mm-hmm. most of the time you're having to chase it down. Right. Okay, it's just a game that's played, okay? Mm-hmm. So working for the wrong, wrong customer. Mm-hmm. So if you're feeling like you're not getting ahead... Take a look at the customers that you're working for. Right. And we get it. I mean, especially if you start your plumbing business, one of the supposedly easiest way um, is to get, you know, a GC or something because then it's it's um, constant work, right? You You feel like it's constant work and then he's going to give you the next house and all that. Um, And so we we get the feeling of this is the best way to get started. But it's not. Right. Constant work does not equate to money. No. Or making money. Gosh. And All we've right. heard it from so many times. I mean, we did it. Again, we, we had a couple in the beginning, and we, we literally almost went out of business within the first six months for all uh, those reasons. And we hear it time and time again. The first four years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we hear it time and time again from uh, our clients and, and people within the Success Academy. It's like, man, it's so hard to kind of get off the um, new construction crack. Right. Because right. it feels there's my my schedule's blocked out now for a month and it feels so good and secure. Right. There, but it there's is not. work. There's you work know, to be using, done. You know, air tag, you know, air, air, quotes. air quotes there. Right. You know, it's mm-hmm. that we have work, but that's mm-hmm. not the, uh, it's not the case. A full schedule right. does not make uh, money in the bank. Right. OK. Especially if they're so, not paying. So what today. does that all lead to? What? Residential service. Yes. Residential service is where you want to be. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes, serving what we call the, the residential service customer, Mrs. Jones. All right. Serving Mrs. Jones. Is the right customer. Why? They, they why va- for it? Well, they value their time mm-hmm. o- over the price. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they ask you well, how much does it cost. That's just a, a question they, you know, mm-hmm. to ask. That, that kind of, right. sure. But they still value their time. They called you, okay? They value their time. Right. Today, that's why we also, we, we have other episodes here where we talk about, you know, serving Mrs. Jones, mm. the values in today, getting them taken care of today, not not getting your schedule all full out, okay? Yeah, to where right. you can't take care of her until next right. week. The value is, what she's paying for is right. today. So she val- values that. It's her home. Mm-hmm. It's her castle. It's her environment. She's tired of hearing that 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 you know tinkling right. noise in the toilet. She's tired of not having enough hot water to give the kids a bath at night, you know, right. whatever it is, right? right? And then she pays. Mm-hmm. She'll pay today, mm-hmm. okay? Right. All right? So there we go. Number one, that's one of the... First, biggest mistakes, yes. serving the wrong customer. Mm-hmm. All right, number two, yep. all right, and this is a biggie, not charging enough. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Good thing when we started our plumbing business, we knew exactly what to charge, and right. we charged exactly what we needed to charge. Yeah, we did. we were so <laughs> smart. <laughs> so, as you know, making the phone ring and often is vital to your home service business. That's why I'm a fan of Search Kings. Search Kings is a Google Premier partner and have helped my clients generate leads on Google Local Services and Google Ads. If you need your phone to ring, use Search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the Million Dollar Plumber VIP treatment. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Search Kings and get on track to making your phone ring today. We did, we did what, uh, what most do, you know, we just, um, you know, it was one of a couple methods, mm-hmm. you know, that we come up with pricing. It's just, uh, you know, we, we, we kind of swipe the, you know, the price book, I call it the, the price book swipe method where we take, uh, the, you know, the price book from where we worked for bo- before, mm-hmm. you know, we take that price and we, we, or that know, price book, yeah. price book and deduct, you know, by 10%. Right. Woo. Woo. Okay. There's the <laughs> price, the money. you know, or not that we did that. Yeah. Right. Not that we did, right? We didn't swipe anyone else's price book. Uh, or, you know, it's, it's the, you know, we're asking at the, you know, what, what the competition's doing. You know, mm-hmm. what the supply house, mm-hmm. all right? You ever, you ever done this? You, you know, you're at the supply house and you're asking your competition, all right? Hey, hey what, what do, do you charge? charge? <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting for a water heater these right. days? <laughs> you know, it reminds me, you know, like your mother used to say to you, at least to me, you know, mm-hmm. you know if your friends jumped off a bridge, would you jump off too? <laughs> you know? What makes mm-hmm. you think it's a, it's the same guy that's working week to week, paycheck mm-hmm. to paycheck too, right. you know, mm-hmm. and what are you charging? <laughs> and you he know? has no idea. And then finally, it was my favorite, just pull it out of your arse. Mm-hmm. You know, what do I think I can get? Right. What, what I think they can pay. Right. What He's I, got a nice car in the driveway. Right. I'm charging more. Or, you know, I've had, I've had some, some good jobs this week and I've made enough, air mm-hmm. quotes again. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'll just do it for this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or. Right. You know, or, or I'm shooting for the moon, or I don't care for, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Just pull that. No, that doesn't work either. It does not work. Okay. Not of your arse. Okay. Not charging enough. You got to charge what you're worth. Yes. You got to charge what you're worth. And what are you worth? You got to charge all your time. Okay. Not just the time on the job, for all the time for running your business. Mm-hmm. Okay. All the time running for your business. That's one of the best things that we, we teach in, right. well, we teach in the academy, the very first module, because um, it's so essential. Um, and, I, w- I would say 99% of the time, um, our clients come back and, and they'll say, I can't believe this is what I need to charge. And there's no way. How in the world can I charge this? And we always say, just 
just try it two weeks, just try it for two weeks. And they do. And they're like, I didn't get any pushback. And this is the first time where I feel like I'm making money. I mean, every time because they were charging so little. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. You start charging for all your time for running the business, including all the expenses, Correct. not just the expenses for that job, mm -hmm. but all of your expenses. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, the customers pay for everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all your expenses, right. the, the time and the expense that it takes for you to go get the supplies mm -hmm. and um, the time and expense, for, you know, for um, uh, answering the phones and the time and expense for marketing, the, right? All, all marketing. those, all those expenses, okay, has to be worked into the price of the job. Correct. Okay, if, mm -hmm. if you're not, you're losing. Right. Okay. And, and we get it, guys. You know, we say it all the time. More than likely, you were a great plumber at the company you were before, and you're like, I want to, I just want to do my own thing. I, I want the freedom, right? We hear that all the time. I want freedom. And so you strike out and you, you start your own plumbing company. Um, but soon, and then you, again, you just pull them something out of your arse. Um, but soon you realize, man, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not making any money. Why am I not making any money? Why, how, how do I know what to charge? And, and we get it again, cause we were there. So. Well, the, well, the big mistake, one, one of the big mistakes that we take, um, you know, we, we talk about this in the academy that, you know, there's the practical things we can do to be successful, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. But there's also the psychological things. We carry a lot of head trash. We've been conditioned to think about money a certain way. Mm -hmm. So have you ever, tell me, you know, in the comments again, if you've ever said something like this, oh, I'm not going to rip people off like those other companies <laughs> <Yeah>. are. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, by the way, those big companies, okay, mm -hmm. that have a lot of employees and nice equipment and lots of customers mm -hmm. and the owners are making a lot of money. And they're right. providing nice benefits for their employees. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, those companies, you're not going to rip people off like those companies. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's just head trash. That, that's just a lie we're telling right. them. Because if they really were ripping everybody off, they would go out of business. Capitalism takes care of its of businesses right. that do that, right? Um, they've got satisfied customers or they would not be in business. That's right. just the way it is. All right. Mm -hmm. And so they, they know what, what they need to charge. Exactly. Okay. And so the problem is we come in and we think, well, we're just a, a little guy here mm -hmm. and I'm charging... Um, you know, I'm only, you know, I'm gonna charge a hundred dollars an hour because right. I'm not gonna rip people off and that mm -hmm. kind of a thing. Because a hundred bucks an hour, wow! Right, that's and you'll a find lot. out as we go through all the time, you know, yeah, the we, we see with all with all our, the clients or whatever mm -hmm. that the lowest most most find out it costs them per hour to operate mm -hmm. more than one hundred fifty dollars an hour. Right, just to operate, least, just right. to operate. Mm -hmm. It's usually somewhere between one hundred fifty and two dollars two hundred dollars an hour. Right, just just to operate with one truck mm -hmm. and not a fancy shop and not all just just right. to operate. Mm -hmm. All right. And no wonder it just feels like, you, you know, you can't get ahead. Right. One step up, two steps back. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're in quicksand. Right. All right. Which leads yep. to, to the, the final point with mm -hmm. uh, not charging enough is you want to charge for all your experience. Mm -hmm. See, that's that mindset again that we, we, mm -hmm. we, we bring with us is that, well, I'm not a big company or I'm just, I'm just a little guy. Right. But, but you don't realize um, the, the, all your experience. You know, another part of that is... Um, talking about all this all the time and this is this is a little complicated subject here okay mm -hmm. there is something to it uh, the, the, the concept is simple charging for your time mm -hmm. but what what, what does all that look like right mm -hmm. but what, but a common mistake we see is well i can just do it in this amount of time right that's what i want to get at you know right. all the years that it took you <laughs> to learn how to just do the job just like that mm -hmm. okay well i can do it just like that so right. you're, you're only going to charge just like that right Okay. I stop. Right. That's, <laughs> that's what we're, that's what we're losing. The head trash. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And, and again, you think, well, it's just me and, you know, I've got my you know, new company or whatever. And I, and I know what it is. It's just this, it's just this, whatever it is you know, to fix. It's just going to be that. And I can fix it pretty, pretty easily or whatever. Okay. Well, there's a value to that. There's a value because Mrs. Jones or Mr. Jones doesn't know how to do that. They don't have the experience. They don't know um, all the things that you know. So, um, charge for your experience. That's right. Yes, because it's valuable. You're valuable. Right. So does this sound familiar? Mm -hmm. You know, how many times have you taken calls on Mondays, you know, from the customer that spent all weekend long, you know, <laughs> on working a, on the toilet? Or tub and shower or, or valve. Tub, tub and shower <laughs> valve or something like that. They blew their whole weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. But whatever the fix is, you can do within an hour. I mean, right. because of your experience and know-how mm -hmm. and, and what you've seen and on-the-job training and all the, you know, right. everything that's gone into it, right? Mm -hmm. that they, okay, you can do it in an hour. Because mm -hmm. it comes natural to you or, or also well, with the experience. With, with the experience. But now it comes natural, right? Right. Yes. So that's what we learned where you're going to charge three hours for that job. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's what, you know, we get into flat rate pricing and that's the value of that. And, right. And, you know, that, mm -hmm. that kind of a thing. Yes. But ultimately what we're doing is we're charging 
all of our time, mm -hmm. all of our materials, and all of our experience. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. And that's how, mm -hmm. okay, you can, you know, start making money with your plumbing business. Right. All right. And start valuing yourself. That's also, we hear that so many times. Um, you are valuable. You know, I know plumbers, and we were plumbers, right, um, has a, a thing in, in culture or whatever. But by golly, plumbers are important when you've got some, you know, your ceilings leaking or your toilets, you know, leaking out the bottom or your water heater just burst. Plumbers all of a sudden very, very important. AI is not going to take over our jobs. <laughs> that is so true. Okay. You, you have such a secure and valuable um, field, right. um, field of profession. You right? know, so it is, you know, no one wakes up in the morning what's called a plumber. We're, we're not wanted... Okay. <laughs> it's not like we're delivering flowers or pizzas or anything, you know, fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we're all about it. So mm -hmm. we, we think we're all that, but the customer doesn't think we're all that. So right. of course they don't value. Mm -hmm. Of course it's, it's how much to fix what, how what? much, what, because it's, it doesn't, they don't, they don't value us as plumbers and right. plumbing. Okay. It's not, again, it's not a valuable thing in their life. Right. Okay. But when it's needed, they can't do it themselves. <laughs> exactly. Okay? All right. Exactly. And it's, it's so, it's you you're valuable start, you're right. valuable right again so start treating right. yourself like you're valuable there we go okay. hey before we move on to another point here i have something for you mm -hmm. check it out hey plumbing pro you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one grab your free copy of my million dollar plumber blueprint in it i lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business don't risk years of waste of time and money and failure Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. All right, welcome back. We're talking about um, three big mistakes. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of mistakes that we make starting out with our plumbing business. <laughs> we made. And even continuing on them, and we made them all. Yeah. <laughs> we probably made the top 100. <laughs> yeah, we did. So, so gain, don't do what we do, right. you know. It's, you ever had your, your father or someone say something like that? You know, yeah. don't do as I did, don't. do as I say. Yeah. You know, kinda, <laughs> yeah. don't, don't, you don't have to make all of our mistakes, okay? That's, yeah, we, we eventually got it. Right. <laughs> we eventually got it. But okay. In the beginning, we certainly... So stop making these mistakes. So if you're feeling like you're, you know, stuck in quicksand or you just can't get ahead, mm. all right, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, you're living job to job, paycheck mm -hmm. to paycheck, all, all those kinds of things, all right? Mm -hmm. these, are, these are three things you can do right now. And they're easy things to stop doing right now. Correct. Okay. Number one, we had, you know, one of the biggest mistakes we make is serving the wrong customer. Mm -hmm. Start serving the right customer. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two, not charging enough. Charge your value. Charge your value, okay? Charge for all your time, all all your expenses, all, all, all of your experience, okay? And then finally, okay, a, a big mistake that a lot of us did starting out, mm. and sadly, some still continue to do, is invoicing the customer. Oh, my. That is crazy. That is so crazy. Okay. If, you, if you're doing that, put in the comments if you're doing that and why you think that's... And no, um, no judgment. We yeah, all no did No judgment. It. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Again, we did it. But um, yeah, why you think that's the, the smart way to go or why you think you need to do that? Right. The, the first step to solving a problem is admitting that there is a problem. Okay. <laughs> and this is a big problem. <laughs> and this is a big problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, if, if you're invoicing the customer mm -hmm. still. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to collect for the job today. Okay, mm -hmm. you want to collect for the job today, yes. all right? Mm -hmm. First of all, there's nothing, you know, I, I get, sometimes we feel a little antsy, like we, we feel like we have to invoice the customer, you know. Or like you're uncomfortable. Them, right, yeah. You're uncomfortable collecting. Right, right. right. Asking mm -hmm. the customer to pay right then. Right. It's a common experience for the customer. Right. Where else does a customer go <laughs> and they get an invoice? Mm -hmm. Where? The name. <laughs> you go to Walmart, go to Walmart, <laughs> go, go to Walmart, mm -hmm. okay, and get your groceries. Mm -hmm. Okay, or, or even just a, a TV or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Okay, we had there at Walmart, mm -hmm. and go up to the counter and say, you know, invoice me on this. I'll pay it net thirty. Right. <laughs> they're not. They're, they're not going to do it. Or um, an right. auto repair. Right? right. You go get your tires changed or some work done on your car. Right. They're not invoicing you. You pay, or you're not picking up your car. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. So it's part of the. It's a, a common customer experience. In fact, it's weird. It's weird to the customer to mm -hmm. say we're going to invoice you. Right. Because now it's hanging out there. 
In fact, that's why they're kind of, it's even more, now that it's even more expensive, the price, even though they agree to it and all yeah. that kind of stuff. <laughs> when they get the invoice you know, a month later, because a lot of times they don't get right on it. Don't okay. All right. And it's like, first of all, they're already ticked. They had to spend any money on plumbing, mm -hmm. any money on plumbing. And now it's a million dollars. Right. <laughs> it was important right. that when you were there, it was right. super important for you to take care of that problem. Exactly. But 30 days later, it is not that important anymore. Right. Right. So, <laughs> so make it, make it more comfortable for the customer. Mm -hmm. You really are making the customer feel comfortable mm -hmm. when you, when you say, you know, we're they're expected. Right. It's expected. Right. And you may say, um, well, I don't have the, the capability of, of taking a credit card guys. It's so easy to get to accept credit cards. So easy. Something like square square was the simplest way yeah. in 10 minutes. You can have it set up and it, it obviously you're going to have a charge, you know, whatever merchant fees, anywhere between one and a half to 3%, depending on a number of things. Um, but, and then there's a little, the little things where you can swipe the card, you know, right on your phone, on your phone, it, say you don't have a tablet or something and you're working everything off your phone, you can do it right on the phone. And it goes right into your bank account. I mean, you have the money in two days. Like, I think we have a, do we have a link? We have a link on our, our we website. We do have a link, to, yeah, on, on, on the, the Power Tools page to Square, I'm pretty yeah, sure. So it's yeah, milliondollarplumber.com. Yes. And then is, we have a Power Tools tab mm -hmm. with, and with Power Tools, kind of a fun way of saying of all the, the business type stuff. You know, Referrals that we give. Right. right. But, and I know there's a discount for um, Potty Talk listeners, right. but um, that that's easy. And customers are used to that. They're, they're used to, again, paying for services. They're used to having to pay for something with their credit card. Um, or if they need to write a check, write a check, and then you can deposit it. Um, if you have online banking, you can then go out to your truck, take a picture of it, and it gets deposited immediately. Um, and that's, to not do that is insane to invoice, you know, a week later and expect payment 30 days later. I mean, right. you you then, I mean, I think you're going to talk about you're not a bank, right? Right. You oh, it le bank. leads right into that mm -hmm. is, is you're not a bank. We, we set ourselves up as a bank. That's one of the biggest things. That's one of the greatest pitfalls. That's why a lot of these companies struggle at best and most fail when you're doing new construction. Um, starting out because you're, you're behaving like a bank. They're used, they're laughing at you. You got sucker written all over your face, <laughs> you know, because they're using you, using your money. Right. You, you're set, you set yourself up like a bank. They're mm -hmm. borrowing from you. Correct. And they'll pay you when they get around to it. Right. Okay. Um, do your employees feel that way? And right. say you got a, a tech or two. Um, can you like, well, I'll, I'll pay you as soon as, you know, the GC pays me or as soon as, you know, I, I got to get some invoices out. As soon as I get the invoices out and we get payment, by golly, then I'll pay you. Right. right? Does that, <laughs> that work? That's not going right. to work. Right. No. You know, mm -hmm. so you're, you're not a bank. So you, you just stop behaving like a one, mm -hmm. like, like one. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you get, you know, and that, you know, if we get into, you, as the company grows, we get into offering financing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not self-financing. No. Okay. We're offering other banks who've set up financing situations. Right. Okay. Well, you, you can use that or can offer that to your customers, mm -hmm. but you as the plumbing business, all right, don't want to be operating like a bank. No, golly, okay. get the money in. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let cash, them use, cash let them, flow. Yeah. Let them use their mean. bank, their credit card. That's the bank. Okay. Let that be the bank. Correct. They use their credit card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you're not a bank because cash flow is king. Uh, cash flow is king. You know, we heard mm -hmm. that you heard the, the saying, you know, cash is king, maybe. Mm -hmm. Really, it's cash flow is king. Mm -hmm. well, I guess you could say if cash is king, then cash flow is God to, to your plumbing business. You need that. It's the lifeblood. It's what, it's what keep, keeps you alive. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I much rather, you know, I've said this forever. I much rather, you know, make, you know, $500 today and doing whatever kind of work mm -hmm. and getting that $500 in the bank today mm -hmm. than the promise of $5,000 next week. Right. Because it probably isn't coming. Okay, right. You can't. <laughs> It, it, or you're the, chasing it down for sure. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. The, the, just something that the, the cash in the bank mm -hmm. is, is what grows you. It's, it's the lifeblood mm -hmm. of, of your business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And also with the supply houses, right? How, I mean, you may be on some sort of you know credit or something with the supply house, but they're not going to wait forever. They right. need to get paid. Um, so if you're not invoicing for a couple of weeks after a job and then you're waiting 30 days or you're, or you're, um, having to chase the money, you're, the supply house, they're, they're not waiting. Right. So. Yeah. yeah, that invoicing invoicing thing, it usually comes, we've seen it through all the years, it's for one of two reasons. You kind of feel guilty or, you know, it's just kind of how it's done, mm -hmm. you know, it's how it's done and, mm -hmm. you know, and that's how my daddy did it and that's how it seems like right. you know, that, that way. Mm -hmm. Or it's just laziness. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to, yeah. you know, hit them up I want to get right in now. and out. I want right. to get in and out of the job. I want to hurry up and get whatever fixed, get on to the next job because my I get over to that um, house that, you know, the GCs, you know, yeah. got the 14th 
change order right. that he's never signed. Then I need to get that done, so I got to hurry up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sound familiar? All right. All right. Let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whether that yeah. sounds familiar or mm -hmm. you think you know I'm full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> but I guarantee you, I'm not. Okay. This comes from 30 years of dealing with this. Yes. You know, and these are three simple things. Okay, or three mistakes that can be simple, uh, simply remedied. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to say, you know, all right, three mistakes that we see all the time. And okay. we, we all did it. Okay, mm -hmm. we did it starting out. Okay, sure serving the wrong did. customer, mm -hmm. not charging enough, mm -hmm. and invoicing the customer. Nope. Okay. Those are three big mistakes, all, right. all easily fixed. So, all, all right. right, sounds great. Hey, if you're looking, uh, you know, you want some help with your plumbing business, Hey, give us a call. I have a free strategy call for you. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call and schedule your free strategy call. Okay? okay. All right. There you go. Okay. But before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you are purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.